Hola, Anita. Hola. Hello, everybody. This is Mommy Mommy. Hi. I just heard the news that you're going away. You're going to Italy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so happy for you because I know that's your favorite place. And I'm so happy for you because you're going to have lots of fun. So enjoy yourself and say hi to all the friends over there. And I just want to say that I love you very much. And te amo con todo mi corazón. And I pray to Jehovah to take good care of you. But I know you're going to be okay. So I wish you the very best trip. And just enjoy yourself. You know, you deserve it. You're a good girl. You love Jehovah. And you deserve the blessings that you are getting, baby. I love you. And I love you, all of you. Okay? Have a good trip. Bye. Arrivederci. Bye. Hi, Hannah. I just wanted to tell you that I am so proud of you, baby. I am so happy to hear and so excited for you to be going on this trip. And I was thinking about what scripture I should use or what I should say. And you know what came to my mind? Ecclesiastes 12, 1. And the reason that came to my mind, because I thought about the first few words, remember now your grand creator in the days of your youth. And I'm thinking that's exactly what you're doing. And when you grow older, hopefully we won't grow too much older in this system of things. But when you, when the years have gone by, you can look back and you will have not one regret there. Because you will know that during your youth, you gave Jehovah your very best. And for that reason, I know that Jehovah will bless you. You're going to have a fantastic time. And you're going to make friends for life. So I love you with all my heart. I'm so proud of you. And I hope the very best for you. And here's Steel Sharky. Have fun and be safe. And uh, we're very proud of you. We love you, baby. I wish we could be there. Enjoy. Have a blast and um, post pictures so I can see them. Okay? Love you. Bye. Have fun preaching in Italy. Congratulations, Hannah. We're proud of you. We hope Jehovah blesses you over there and that you have a lot of fun serving try Jehovah to, there. Try to help the brothers as much as you can. Yeah, have fun preaching. What are you going to say? Have fun. Don't, don't crash into the strangers. Yeah, stay Beware. away from strangers. Beware of stranger danger, man. We love you, Hannah. We love you. Bye, Bye Hannah. Hannah. Congratulations. And I just want to start off by saying congratulations. Both Jasmine and I are extremely proud of you. So is Louie. Remember him. He's been a little shy today. But in all seriousness, we're extremely proud of you. I've uh, seen you fulfill your goals and your dreams. Remember, you used to always tell us that you wanted to serve in another country. And to see you actually do that is just a reminder that Jehovah really listens to our prayers and knows our heart and knows what we want, especially when we're doing it for the right reasons. And you're obviously doing that to you know help others learn about Jehovah where the need is greater and first and foremost you're doing it for him and to build a relationship with him even more and make him stronger so just thank you for setting that example for us and everyone who may be around you so spreading that positivity and helping us learn that there's no limitations to what we can do for Jehovah and just always remember the best advice I can give you is that Jehovah will always be by your side through the good and the bad Obviously, we wish you the best and always good times um, through your journey, but there may also be trials and tribulations and difficult times. And so I want to share that text, this text with you of Psalm 16, verse 8. It says, I keep Jehovah before me constantly because he's in my right hand. I will never be shaken. And you've been living with that mentality your whole life, knowing that Jehovah is by your side. And just like the text says at the end, I will never be shaken. Um, that's just important to know because if you do encounter any troubles or bad times, always remember that there's nothing that Jehovah can't do for you when you're doing the best for Him. So there's no fear, um, no fear that can overcome what can Jehovah, what Jehovah can do for you. Um, you know, He'll always be by your side. You have brothers, um, 
who are also your family, who you can always reach out to around the world. You have your family that you can always reach out to as well. So if there's anything that you need, you know, we're here for you as well. So uh, that's the best advice I can give you. Um, but we do wish you the best. And, you know, we hope that you have great examples you can share with us, and great um, experiences you can share with us um, when you come back uh, from your journey. And just, you know, have a great time as well serving Jehovah while you're in your journey. And, yeah, if you need anything, just always reach out to us. We're always here for you. So I just want to end off by saying, Kanoli, uh, Ricota, Chupara Parle, Amanjari, which means uh, I really don't know how to speak time, but congratulations. We wish, we wish you the best and we love you very much. Hi, Hannah. We heard you're going to be leaving for a few months to Italy. We're very excited for your journey. So um, we want to give you some good suggestions for your trip. I'll let Pablo begin. Okay. So, at first, things might be a little disturbing when you get there because it's a different country. Even at times, shocking. But don't worry. Don't worry about those things. Don't focus on that. Look at the people. Focus on that. Look at their faces. Look at their eyes. Look at them and watch how they react when you read from the Bible and you teach them Bible truths. That will always help you not to focus on the negative things. Another thing that has always helped Chochi and I is yes, there's customs and there's cultures that are very different in other countries. And just that, they're different. Not better, not worse. So what has helped us? Well, we often think of the scripture of Galatians 6.1 where we examine our own actions and not compare what the other people do. And that has always helped us and has always brought us lots of joy. So just have those two things in mind and that will help you with the culture jump. Yeah, and remember that no matter where you are, Jehovah is with you. And if you maintain focus, that's the most important thing.